In this example, a mobile robot uses a vision system as the measurement device. The objective of this exercise is to design a controller so that the percent overshoot for a unit step is less than 5% and the settling time is less than 3 seconds. The controller uses a proportional integral controller. The objective is now to find the suitable control gains that will meet these design requirements. To do that, let's go over to MATLAB. Let's start by defining the initial control gains, proportional and the integral, declare S as a transfer function, create the plant transfer function and the controller transfer function. We can now put these two functions in a unit feedback loop by simply creating g, the closed loop transfer function, as c times p, plant times controller, divided by 1 plus plant times controller. Another option is to use the function feedback, where first we specify the line transfer function, that is c times p, and the feedback function in a unit feedback loop, simply 1. We can use now the step info to get the properties of the system as a result of the step input and plot the step response with step g. We start by set up Start by setting the integral gain to zero and start with a low proportional gain, and let's run it. The system is relatively slow, we can start to increase the proportional gain until a suitable settling time is achieved. And when that happens, we can start now to increase the integral gain slowly, so that there is no steady state error. Let's set the integral gain to 0 0.9 and run. And you see that here the settling time is less than 3 seconds and the percent overshoot is very small. This is a suitable set of gains for this problem. There are many other possible solutions. To make this problem more interesting, we can use an optimization function in MATLAB to try to find the proportion and the integral gain. This is described in this second script that is posted on Canvas. We are using an optimization function in MATLAB to find this proportional and integral gains. The code has comments throughout it to so take a look on how this is implemented. It can be very useful for labs. Here we have a function that calculates the percent overshoot and settling time for this particular system. The function takes as input the proportion and integral controller gains and outputs a cost function. A cost function here is simply the sum is simply the weighted sum of the settling time and overshoot. You can play around with these values depending on the application. And then this is given to this fmin search function to find suitable values of ki and kp that will minimize the cost function specified. This is just a simple example, but it can be modified according to the application and may be very useful for labs.